off my way for that last minute thing, we are going to Spain. Get questions? <laughs> Did I get questions? No, we both just sailed through. Yeah. That's I us. Just flashing though. Did you? <laughs> yeah, of course I did. That's us now in Spain, in Madrid, about to pick up a car. Bye bye. Bye bye, I'll run to it, baby. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Buy a bigger cup, I'm gonna be Alan Partridge when I come in with another cup. <laughs> Two cups and it's gone. Waste of time. <laughs> with your old tea bags as well. Yeah, I've got them in my bag. <laughs> so I was in the elevator the other day and this guy came running down the corridor just as the doors were closing. He said, Hold the doors, hold the doors. So I held the doors, he got in. You know, thanks, mate, thanks. Look. Not like he was straight from Love Island, like totally <laughs> rich. He did. This sort of broad, wide, mank accent. So I said, yeah, mate, where are you from? He went, oh, from Salford. He went, oh, my wife's from Salford. I said, whereabouts? He said, um, just near Manchester, when Black Braze. He went, oh, <laughs> totally shocked. <clears throat> and then he said a weird thing. He said, is breakfast included in your package? So I went, yeah, 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 we've got, we got breakfast included in the package and he goes, stock up. <laughs> yeah, only been here three days, I've spent 600 euros. Make sure you get your money's worth of breakfast. <laughs> so what did you buy in the shop yesterday, Claire? Yes. <laughs> tea bags. <laughs> oh, it's so much better cup of tea this Good morning. Fun. DG tips. And what you do with your tea bags? <laughs> I'm recycling them, I'm not wasting them. <laughs> Ain't that wrong with that? Bloody love one. <laughs> Just been for some tappers uh, uh, in the square. 
Oh, it was absolutely stunning. Mm. I'm feeling a bit fat now. I'm a bit full, but... Good, that one. Well, that's not eating now, so I'll choose that. <laughs> now we're walking down and we're looking for somewhere that we can get maybe a couple of drinks. The square's been absolutely stunning. It was beautiful. <laughs> I'm still stuck to catch me. So here we are in Frengarola. Time now is five to nine at night and it's the 9th of July 2022. So we just took a little break there looking at a, uh, an estate agent shop window just to try and get a gauge of what the value of property is here. This looks like the place to be. We didn't I even know. know. We sort of managed to stumble on this by accident. So we just had a couple of beers in the Britannia bar. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> People watching. <laughs> okay, so that's the hotel behind us, the Occidental, and um, it's day three, I think. Is it day three? Anyway, we've had a few yeah. days there now. Um, so we've, we've decided we're not going to have the breakfast at the hotel this morning. Uh, we're going to go out and we're going to try a breakfast on the front. We're looking for a belly buster place. <laughs> Car parking, anything goes. Look at this. That's got to be a woman. <laughs> okay, so we're in um, Porto Produce. So we're going to have a wander down to the flea market. So yeah, we're just walking down. Claire's doing a spot of shopping. <laughs> Chatting yeah. to a good friend in the UK, John. Oh, well, the numbers are going up back home as well, and it's gonna go, I think it's gonna treble because it's Eid, so everyone's bloody bit together again. The, the flea market wasn't sort of extensive as we thought it might be, so we're gonna have a walk. Back to the bars now. This is now the main strip, obviously. You can see all the boats and you've got these bars that just uh, overlook the, the harbour. So we just stopped in Joy's for a quick uh, lemonade and a glass of wine. That a nice glass of wine. How was the wine, love? Nice, maybe you leave it though. Why have made you, what? Because you were up and ready to go. Why are you finished? Well, yeah. How was the meal? Oh my god, look at the steak, yeah. How was the meal? <laughs> Did you try it? Stuffed. Can't eat no more. So tired, yeah. It's put me into a sleep coma, food coma, as they say. What time is it? It was half nine, I've got bed in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you're having a chocolate fondue or a chocolate brownie. I'm so jealous. So I just like to say, wait a minute. <laughs> you sound a little sober now. No, no, drunk. 
But Bill thinks he's a better driver than me. And not a kind of chance. Even William and Harriet agreed with me that Bill is shot at driving. I'm the better driver. Bill's got a joke to tell you. I just wanted to say, he's told it me fucking four times. Here goes. <laughs> no, I'm fucking picking me up. <laughs> so, you asked me to. I said to Claire the other day, I said, dear, I've seen the news before. There was a big fight in the chippy. She went, chippy, what chippy? Went, the chippy in Fengarol, it was on the news. She went, a big fight? I went, yeah, huge, big fight. Two fish got battered. <laughs> we seen the band walk in the streets, which was really good. And um, now we're off home for a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Very big day tomorrow. We've not really told anybody yet, uh, but it's a big day for us tomorrow. Um, we think we might be, we don't know yet, purchasing a Ooh, villa. A nice little villa, nice, nice little, little villa, little property. Uh, so it's a big, big step for us tomorrow. And um, we'll see what happens. We'll keep you all posted. So we're just going out now to the shop to get some bottles of wine. <laughs> Some bottles. Some bottles of wine. And we are going to celebrate. We bought a villa. <laughs> we bought a nice little villa in a place called Miral Monte. And um, it's a lovely little bungalow villa with a swimming pool and a little cottage, which we're going to convert to a studio with a drive and a garage and a massive garden. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, we're now gonna go and get some wine so that we can celebrate. We can't believe we've done it. We've been talking about it for a while. Oh, and we did it. Shake it. This was about the best stuff we could find in the whole of Fengarola. How do you pronounce it? Well, careful. Careful. So we got two of them. They'll have to do. This is our view for the day. Drink your champagne by the pool. So stupid me jumps in the pool with my wallet. So everything's going to dry top. <laughs> Keeping all the money. Oh, it's all wet. Poncho. Poncho. It recommended a bar, a restaurant called Poncho's. So we're going to go there and see the hotel reception. Oh, Ooh, it's fish. Barbecue. Oh, look at them fish. Hola. Hola. Stop. Very nice. Proper pool. It was lovely. Oh, that was a palaver. Oh. And I was like, I'll go after 10 o'clock. I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. I just bought another shot. Oh my god, is it fair? Yeah, it's fair. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Get out. <laughs> so we just got the lift, it's Wednesday. It was day five or six. And my sister's arrived with her husband and they've seen uh, Scott's family over in Almera.
building there. Mirror on one set. About 20 yards past that, turn right. That's the first row of houses that you can see. And there's just the second on the left. And this is our new uh, Miro Monte outdoor dining area. This is the bay garden. And the, uh, the restaurant inside is absolutely fantastic. It really is. Hello. Thank you, room. Been a lovely room. Uh, we're on our way now. We've just packed up. We're leaving tea bags. And we're leaving. A couple of boxes of wine for the vent. And that's those packs. And we're on our way to Madrid for a couple of days. <laughs> How she did it, I'll never know. I buy cases. <laughs> so, just leaving the business last lounge in Madrid, heading to the plane. Here we go.